The easiest way to get past the paywalls and to find the full text is to use the UQ network. The full text for the majority of the world's scholarly journal articles and books is still accessible only via subscription. The library purchases millions of dollars worth of subscriptions each year and then uses the university network to authenticate access for UQ students and staff. That way, when you're connected directly to the university network, including using the library computers, you're able to go straight to the full text from the library site and even directly from Google Scholar results. Unfortunately, it's not always as easy when you're off campus or even using Wi-Fi. While much has been done with the links from the UQ Library Search to make the transition as seamless as possible when off campus or on Wi-Fi, the same access is just not possible when using Google Scholar. There are, however, a couple of things you can do to streamline the process. You can make a simple change to the settings in Google Scholar, or you could use a slightly more technical process of setting up a virtual private network connection to the UQ network. The most complicated part about making a change to the settings in Google Scholar is finding where they've put the link to the settings. Google occasionally changes their layout and the link can sometimes be hard to find. Once you have accessed the settings in Google Scholar, go to the Library Links tab and then search for the University of Queensland Library. By finding and selecting UQ Library, you will then see the link View at UQ Library appearing to the right of the Scholar results. Clicking on this link brings you back to a result in UQ Library Search. In UQ Library Search, we use a system called EasyProxy, through which our links are channeled through the university network. This way, you will be given authenticated access to the library subscriptions. With your first result, you will have to log in via the UQ single sign-on, but that will normally be necessary only once a session. However, for this process to work, you'll need to follow the View at UQ Library link from the results in Google Scholar back to a UQ Library search result each and every time you want the full text. The more technical but the more streamlined solution is to establish a virtual private network or VPN connecting you to the university network. As a UQ student or staff member, you already have free access to a VPN connection to the university's network. You will need to download and install the necessary software onto your desktop, laptop or mobile device. But at the end of it, you'll be able to access online resources as though you were physically on campus. This is a good option when gathering large amounts of information because while you're running the software, you'll have the same level of access that you would have on a library computer. You can follow links simply from Google Scholar and if UQ Library has a subscription, you'll then get access to the full text. Just be aware that downloading articles counts towards the overall download quota on your UQ account. For more information about establishing this VPN, go to UQ's Information Technology Services page.